Hi, I'm Nicole Wittry, Product Marketing Engineer for TI's Precision Analog Team. The term instrumentation amplifier is properly used to describe a category of true differential input amplifiers that emphasize high common mode rejection and accuracy. More commonly, the term instrumentation amplifier is not used in such a broad way, and instead the wide category of instrumentation amplifiers, or IAs, is broken up into three more specific categories of two or three stage instrumentation amplifiers, difference amplifiers, and current shunt monitors. TI has an active portfolio in each of these three areas, but it's the two or three stage instrumentation amplifiers that are the focus for today. Difference amplifiers are the basic core of all IAs and have high CMRR and high input common mode ranges but usually have limited gain and cannot provide as high of input resistance needed in many IA applications. The classic three-stage instrumentation amplifier was to de developed to add high input impedance buffer amplifiers ahead of the simple diff amp subtractor circuit in order to achieve high input impedance, high CMRR, and high gain in just one device. For two-stage instrumentation amplifiers, the input impedance is still high due to the non-inverting op-amps on the input stage, but unlike the three-stage instrumentation amplifier, the signal must travel through amplifier A1 before it's subtracted from V2 by amplifier A2. Thus, the voltage at the output of A1 is slightly phase-shifted with respect to VN1. The phase-shifted topology affects the CMRR at high frequency. In general, two op-amp INAs are used over much lower frequencies where this does not become an issue. The trade-off for a more limited frequency range is that the two-stage instrumentation amplifier with only two op-amps instead of three use less power than a three-stage instrumentation amplifier. Both two and three-stage instrumentation amplifiers achieve high input impedance, high gain, and high CMRR. However, by adding the high impedance input buffers, the instrumentation amplifiers no longer have the ability to handle high common mode input ranges outside of their supply rails like basic difference amplifiers are able to do. For high common mode input range applications, a difference amplifier or a variation of such as a current shunt monitor is the best choice. In TI's two and three stage instrumentation amplifier portfolio, there is a wide selection of these devices, including those with programmable gains, supply voltages from 1.8 volts up to plus minus 15 volts, supply currents below 60 microamps, offsets of 25 microamps, noise of one nanovolt per square root hertz, and even input bias currents in the femtoamp range. So no matter the application or spec requirements, TI has an instrumentation amplifier to do the job. For more information about TI's instrumentation amplifier portfolio, please visit www.ti.com instrumentationamp to find product information and order samples.